Golf carts are a popular mode of transportation for spring breakers. That's led to a lot of injuries or tickets for people who don't follow the laws, especially on Walton County roadways. As News 13's Kimber Collins tells us, law enforcement and health officials are putting more emphasis on those low speed vehicle safety rules. Pull over right there in that street for me, Buff. All right. Thank you. Walton County Deputy Chris Webster said he pulls over nearly 30 golf carts a day along 30A during spring break. Mainly seat belts and how they're driving, if there's drinks in their hands, and uh, if they're driving carelessly or dangerously, of course. These things will tip over in a minute. Webster said he hardly writes a ticket unless they are repeat offenders. Instead, his biggest mission is to educate visitors to prevent any accidents. A lot of warnings go out because we want them just to comply and be safe and go home with great memories. You guys wear seat belts and do what you're supposed to do here. We have great, great relationship. At Ascension Sacred Heart Emerald Coast Hospital, doctors are seeing injuries from passengers falling off or being ejected from low speed vehicles. Very frequently, people are not wearing their seat belts. And so when you're ejected from those things, you can see all sorts of trauma from head injuries to collapsed, lung, collapsed lungs or, uh, you know, other bony injuries of arms and legs. Dr. Hannah says children are most at risk, particularly because of their small size. And the fact that many of them are riding on a family member's laps, so they are higher risk of being ejected from the vehicle. And so just, uh, you know, prevent the injury from happening in the first place by um, having them properly restrained in the golf carts. Deputy Webster said spring break crowds come in waves with the majority of the traffic stops happening Saturday through Monday. He said most golf cart drivers will follow the rules by the end of the week before a new batch of visitors come to town. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Now you can find a list of low-speed vehicle laws in Walton County on our website, mypanhandle.com.